Hey everyone, welcome back to Digital Confirmation with me, Chris Swanson, the Director of Middle School Ministry, and uh, coming to you from my house because it's another snow day, and so I tried to get the snowy background, but I think it's just glare, glare white, so uh, look out your own window and enjoy the fresh snow. So uh, here we are, it's our wrap up of the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to share a screen here and um, and so we can go through this together. So things that you need today, uh, a caring adult, maybe a pen or pencil, you should have a Bible, and there's going to be other supplies that you'll need uh, as we get to the, the games and activities, some would say the fun-tivities, and I'll tell you about those as we go. So here we go. Quick announcements, two of them. We've sent home information for our retreats. You have two options and opportunities uh, for those this year. Check that out um, on our website. Um, and then also we sent home information about our summer trip and uh, camp opportunities. Our summer trip is a middle school Colorado adventure trip that uh, challenges us physically, but also in our faith walk and then camp out at Good Earth Village. So check those out online and let me know what questions you have and how to get signed up. Uh, it's going to be, um, they're great opportunities, each of those. We're going to start with the devotion from the hymnal, and this is uh, from the sacrament of baptism, the promises that, that are made uh, during baptism. And these five promises are summarized as to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. So as we've been learning about uh, the Lord's Prayer, this is something that Jesus taught the disciples and teaches us, and uh, that connects pretty clearly to, um, well, really to all of these, but especially, you know, hearing the word of God, sharing in the Lord's Supper. Uh, those are the things that Jesus uh, taught through this prayer. So we're going to say this prayer together before we dig into just a, uh, quick recaps and the games that you can do. So uh, the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us today our daily bread Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Okay. Uh, we really could summarize these. We had four different lessons uh, as we went through this. And, the, and we could put that into themes of the greatest prayer, God's kingdom and will, God gives and forgives, and then temptation, trial, and deliverance. So let's unpack each of those. Uh, when we talk about the Lord's Prayer as the greatest prayer, it's that Jesus teaches us how to communicate with God through this prayer. And keep in mind, it's adaptable. It's, it's not this is the only way to pray. It's, uh, it's a structure, and we can change those pieces um, depending on what we're going through in our lives. But it gives us a way to address God, bring things to God, um, ask for forgiveness and steps forward in our lives. This prayer also teaches us about uh, how God has a roadmap for our lives. And you think about, you know, when you put that in the GPS and if you, if you get detoured or there's road construction or you choose the wrong exit or something, you know, the voice goes recalculating. And I think about that God recalculates our lives based on things that happen to us or the missteps that we take, but God still has a will and a hope for our journey. Our third theme was that God gives and forgives and a reminder that God provides all we need for daily living and also that God repairs our sins and our limitations. And we all have those things. And lastly, when we think about temptation and trial and deliverance, through this prayer, Jesus promises us that the Holy Spirit will guide us through the challenges and experiences that we have in life. 
All right. So these are minute to win it games. Um, so they're quick things that you can do. They don't require a lot of materials, uh, but they're pretty fun. And all I've done is um, uh, queued up from YouTube the minute to win it 60 second timer. So the first one is called the high drop and things that you'll need uh, a couple of, of cups. And I used Fruit Loops. You could use Cheerios. You could also use like clothes pins or paper clips, just some kind of material. So what you and um, your partner are going to do, stand on a chair or stand on the edge of your couch or maybe from your steps and you've got your, say, Fruit Loops and you've got to stand straight up and then drop those items into the cup. And you've got 60 seconds. Whoever gets the most, whether that's cereal, clothes pins, whatever in the cup is the winner. And our connection... Uh, there, you know, these connect back to our, our prayer, you know, the greatest prayer, uh, Jesus gives us instructions on how to do this. Um, and so it's a loose connection, right? Go with me. Okay. All right. So you can pause to get those materials and find a timer like this. Um, I'm not going to play it for you here. You, you can just go do that. So hit pause. And then when you're ready for the next game, hit play. Second game. This is called drawing directions. It's a bit like Pictionary. Um, you need paper or you could use a marker board, a whiteboard. And then, um, and one person is going to be the drawer. You could do it blindfolded. I have that listed here. You don't have to do it. I think it's challenging enough without being blindfolded. So one person is going to draw Second person is going to look up a simple picture. And if you type into Google images, easy pictures or easy pictures for kids, you'll find things, examples like a ladybug, a flower, a sailboat, the earth. Um, so one person is going to draw and they don't know what they have to draw. The other person's giving them instructions, but you can't say like, draw a sailboat. You have to describe it in 60 seconds. Like, Put one triangle here and then next to it, the second triangle and under it, you know, a shape like a banana, but you can't say sailboat, you know, or if you're drawing a flower, you don't say draw a flower or draw. If you're drawing a bumblebee, you don't say drawing a bumblebee, try to describe it. You've got 60 seconds. Uh, this one was good for a lot of laughs just to see like how uh, closely or, or not you end up, right? Um, and the connection here going back, um, you know, is that, again, um, this is God's kingdom and will. And so it's it's like God gives us the instructions to follow and the directions to follow. And we off, you know, oftentimes that makes us uncomfortable um, or it gets messy or sometimes it's just hilarious, you know, how that turns out in our lives. And you just compare like the original intent and how it ended up. So. Um, there's that. Okay. Third game. We're all pretty familiar with this. This is the bottle flip. So, um, if, if you've got a plastic bottle or, you know, water bottle of some kind that, uh, that you can flip, uh, usually about halfway full is great. You know, a little less than that is probably a little too easy, but, um, this one, we just had two contestants, um, challenge each other in 60 seconds who could flip the water bottle and it land um, the most times in a minute. And so good luck with that. Um, the connection here, you know, God gives and forgives. So remembering that all we have that's provided for us, especially things like water, things that we need, God gives that to us and forgives us. The game and the last game you can do is... Um, this is called On Guard. Um, this one is pretty ridiculous. Get some uncooked noodles and then bring back those Fruit Loops or Cheerios, uh, something that's got a hole in the center. You can do this one of two ways. Um, you can try to start have somebody hold the noodle in their mouth and see how many you can pick up. Uh, or we found that that was pretty difficult. You could just use like one hand on the noodle, but you can't stop anything. So uh, see how that goes. And, you know, a reminder that with the Lord's Prayer that Jesus warns us about challenges and temptations in our lives. And this, it's a challenging thing. Um, God will lead us forward.
from those trials and deliver us from that evil. The game begins in three, okay. two, one. I'm All right. Uh, that's what I've got. We can close again with this prayer together and then um, enjoy the rest of your time together. Share some highs and lows. And uh, remember that uh, we'll see you again soon. So be safe, be well, and remember that you are loved. Bye. Bye. <laughs>